What's up guys, welcome back to another Class Cons Corner video. And today, it's a pretty special day on my end. It's going to be part two of the refurb of my teddy that I showed in, in the YouTube video. Go check that out if you haven't already. And if you've watched that video, you may recognize this guy. He's the teddy that I worked on. And there's two other guys. I'm not sure if you guys can see that one back there. But it's a third gen back there. He's spare parts. This guy right here, if you can see him, he is another first gen. Same thing as this as this guy, and he's going to be a separate repair project. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get to him in this video, but I might be able to if things go in the correct manner. So, just a little update on this guy. So, I've done many takes on this video, and... On my first video, this is where all that came from. I took off this plate and I replaced the pinch roller. And that's what happened. At... Ah, there we are. This wasn't designed to work too well. So I did all that and all that. So, and on one of the other takes, I took his back off and took off his power switch because I was trying to clean it. Unfortunately, while I was doing that, I accidentally broke one of the wires and I had to solder it many and many times. And I'm not sure where that went. It must be somewhere around here, but it's something that I soldered again and again and again. And this guy, I tried taking it out of him, but once again, the wires broke. And I didn't want to solder it this time, so I just left it and decided to solder this one. This is the power switch in question. This guy, not sure if it's the original one, but I just found it and soldered it. So I'm just gonna plug it in here real quick. I'm not sure if I missed anything in the process, but where is the plug? Oh, that one is normal. Let's see, where, where? Okay, what? Oh, there it is. It's hiding. Let's, come on. It's gonna be more problems with this guy. Watch this. Oh, I barely have any space here, but that's okay. Let me just look around that guy. Uh, maybe I'll like, turn to the side a bit. Oh, there we go. Maybe I like, yeah, maybe I lay him on his side. Let me just put that over there. I'm going to put this guy just to the side. Over there, wait, wait a minute, just over to the side. This guy, he's gonna be on his side. What is wrong with this guy? And do that. Maybe I lay him on his other side. Aha! There, other side finally worked. All right, get his power switch. Bam, bam, boom, and Flip that round and uh, sorry if I'm dragging this video around. I just want to get this right. Ha! Ah. Look. All right, his legs are twisted. Whoa! What just fell out? Huh? I guess that's where that old thing went. I'm gonna keep that over there. Trying to. Maybe get that back in him. So I have his power switch. I'm gonna try to turn him around. And this video, I'm just gonna take his vest off. This video, I'm planning to get under this guy's skin and see how his motors are doing. As when I tested this guy when I got him, he was very wet because the package came in the rain and I was quite surprised that this guy even did anything once I tested him, but he worked enough to the point where I was kind of hopeful that I could get this guy to work again. And this thing doesn't even want to fit, awesome. That's not gonna work, it's just, yeah. Get that where I want it. Bam. Okay, that seems good. Okay, so we have the right power switch in him. 
Okay, so what we're gonna do in this video is try to get under his skin. What else is rattling? Oh, it's the power switch. Yeah, losing track of everything. So we're gonna try to get in his skin. So yeah, just gonna grab the scissors, gonna cut that little seam there and cut. Hope I'm not cutting too deep. Let's just, what is holding this together? Trying to get to the seam. A little cut there. Oh, there we are. Now, we're getting somewhere. Just going to, okay. So before I get anywhere too big, I'm gonna unplug everything. Just get the tape player. I'm not trying to have too much problems. Okay, just, yeah, you can do that. Let me just get your fur out of here. Just peel this skin off, this feels so wrong even though I've done this to many other teddies. Teddies, wow. Okay, just, man, this guy's just been a hassle for the entire time I've had him. One time he decided to just not even have one of his screws in him. Not sure if that was supposed to happen. But I think now I can just refit his back. If I can get the power switch to fit in there. Get the power switch. What is this guy going to do? Like, okay, so I think Kind of like upside down or something. I don't think this is supposed to work like this. And like, what is wrong with this thing? Maybe I need to turn it around. Going around town. Like, is it upside down? Like, what is wrong with this? Maybe I need to flip it that way? Maybe. Maybe the wire is supposed to go around there. Maybe I'm supposed to have it wired this way. Whoa. That kind of startled me. So where did one of the wires come off? Slide those wires through. No, that white wire, you can't do that. No, just go the other way. Just get right in there. That's bent way too up. Bend that down a bit. Why is it doing that? Like, is it supposed to be upside down? Did I wire it wrong? I don't see it. What is wrong with this? Maybe I just have to accept that this guy has something wrong with him. Maybe this guy is just the teddy with a backwards switch. Who cares? I think he might work now. 
going to give it until I get the rest of his fur off. See if I can get him to work then. Like, either this switch is really messed up, or this switch is, like, from another generation, and this guy, someone had to go at repairing him before. If then, that would not be good. I think we're at the end of the seam. Start peeling back his fur. This teddy has been quite the hassle. What is wrong with this thing? Is there something else I'm missing? Is this really the end of the seam? Yeah. Get that out of there. Yeah, that seems to be the end of the seam. Eh, seems to be the seam. I'm just going crazy, aren't I? Okay. We have flipped his fur back. So, getting his fur off. Just make sure his mouth is completely closed. Let's try to separate. Oh, man, this guy's just been too much of a hassle. Trying to separate the foam from the faceplate. What else could possibly be wrong with this guy? Watch this. After this, I'm going to find some huge defect that makes me have to replace like everything on him. Maybe I'm overthinking it. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Okay, I think I have the foam separated. I just need to get under there. Aha! We have the foam off. That clip in his faceplate already came off. And I believe now his fur is off. Yep, that's a broken neck for sure. And we have a missing spring in there. That spring seems to be working fine, but it's just, oh, yep, and broken part, of course. Oh, spring's in there, it's not missing at all. That's what I heard shaking around him. Let's just get this spring out. Huh. Now this guy is really damaged. I suspected that something had broken inside of him, but I never had full proof until now. Whoa, whoa, where'd you go? Can't believe this is the teddy that I once did a successful repair on, but now I'm just trying to do something. I'm going to put batteries in him and hope that he works. All right. Let's make sure he's turned off. Might replace his power switch again, but that's until next time to decide. Just hope this guy will turn on as I haven't turned this guy on in a while. Oh, that's a third generation switch. Oh. I can get him to turn. Let's try putting the tape in him. Let's hope he's not scrambled in any way. Might he play the tape backwards? Who knows? This is 
is the funny looking tree with the bright blue leaves. But it isn't blue right now. It's an Looking tree with bright orange leaves huh. turns back into a funny looking tree with bright blue leaves right before our very eyes. Wow, <laughs> heavens to Grundle! That's amazing! I got him to turn on again. Is that really as amazing as it may first appear? You see, it happens all the time around here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so he seems to be working. Let's just hope I can get this video out. Not sure if I'm still even recording, but if I am, that would be awesome. Because I just got this guy's fur off, and he works. So, this video, I just reassembled him. I mean, reassembled and assembled. I'm not sure which. I think off camera, I'm going to glue his head back together and most likely fix his neck. But I think that's where I'm going to wrap this video up for you guys. So, hope you're going to have a great day. And, well, that's good. Bye.